religions, creeds and other value systems joining forces to enhance equal citizenship rights was the motto of this one-day event that took place here at the UN Geneva at the end of June. However, the subject matter is timeless and its implementation in its infancy. This equality has its origin in, and I quote from the document Nos Reetate of the Second Vatican Council, one is, in, is the community of all peoples, one their origin, for God made the whole human race to live over the face of the earth. Monsignor Vitillo, did God also made or established different religions? God created people and he invited people to be in a relationship with him. People themselves established different religions at first because they were searching for how to relate to God. And uh, then uh, God revealed himself to the Jewish people as a personal God with whom they could have this relationship. And also he sent us his son to bring about the fulfillment of uh, the Judaic law in, in Christianity. Um, many different religions developed uh, because people are still searching, but it wasn't that God established different religions. The moral lobby of faith that is still strong across the world must act in cohesion to ensure that equal citizenship rights and human dignity are at the forefront of all developmental efforts. We are not put on this earth to go forth and multiply, desecrate and destroy, but to bring life and hope for future generations. Do you think the, the conference like this year is, is uh, capable of doing this or inspire people, encourage people to do that? Absolutely. I think the conference, when we talk about equal citizenship, was a call in many ways for us to see how much we have in common and also to be able to uh, promote uh, the policies and the practices, not just of faith traditions, but of states and, and other authorities so that we could have the basis of solidarity with each other. Unity and diversity, this must be the objective of each and every one of us. This is the only way to push us towards renewed solidarity, because our roots, our common roots, our morals, our lifestyles in our religions are based on the fundamental principle loving one's neighbor. Now, isn't the problem to mix different religions, creeds and value systems, put them or try to put them under one roof, as some of them have laws that may violate uh, the laws of the others. If we really get down to the essentials uh, of religious uh, uh, practice and, and belief, we see that there are many common values that we share. Uh, the whole uh, sense of, of being in solidarity with each other, of loving God with all that we have to love, and also of loving our neighbors as ourselves. They're, they're basic tenets in many of the major faith traditions. Uh, so there's a lot more that we share in common than our differences for us. Certainly there are some beliefs and some practices that, that differ, uh, but if we focus on what the essential values are in most of the major faith traditions, we have have a lot in common. There cannot be any understanding, there cannot be any dialogue without any freedom nor any justice. The values of justice and freedom paves the way for humans to get ready and to seek ways and means to use the opportunity to enhance dialogue. Let us also at this time in this conference, use this opportunity to build relationships among ourselves, but to primarily to build a safe and stronger world and a stronger humanity. Let us commit ourselves to do that in an inclusive way built for our multi-religious world. Next week, in part two of our report, we will speak about equal citizenship rights of refugees and migrants and ask the co-executive secretary of the sponsoring committee of the conference about his suggestion to set up a task force on equal citizenship rights. The conference participants agreed that the spread of equal citizenship rights is the gateway to the concept of global citizenship. A gateway, in other words, to world peace.